Hey everyone, I'm Alfred. Welcome back to Death Gambit. Uh, I just uh, replayed the whole first bit just because I was like, I don't really feel like having all those points in finesse. And I just smashed through that boss. Like it was nobody's business. First try on everything. So now I have a helping of, um... I have a, a strong helping of, um... Uh, endurance now. And that regen, too. I kind of want to get everything to seven and then see where I want to go. I don't think there's anything that scales with, like, um... Uh, I don't want to, like... What am I saying here? I don't want to spoil myself too hard, but I kind of did a brief little look around, and it looks like there's no benefits for, like, splitting yourself and doing both um, types of scaling. Like, there's no quality weapons. And I have a habit of typically going for a... Um... What? That's weird. I have a habit of liking to go for a strength build on my first playthrough of most games. Oh, second to uh, Owl King lore. Um, more slaves than monarchs, these owl beasts appeared in droves. Seemingly drawn to Amulvaro's observatory, yet the sorcerer neglects them. How mean of him. So that only opens if you don't use a phoenix plume, huh? Does that mean that I can go sit and then not have used a phoenix plume? Oh, doves. How nice. Hey, yep. There we go. I s it's still there. That's kind of a weird mechanic. That little music sting there sounds so much like the Elder Scrolls. Okay. All right, let me go lick an enemy and get five points. So, um, last summer I had to move. And it was a great hassle that we shan't get into now. Um... But I briefly played this game called Unworthy, and I hated it. It had a few cool things going for it. For one, it was a 2D Metroidvania-style, you know, Souls clone. As, you know, you often get. You know, early on, I think, around the development of Dark Souls 2... You know, we got, um, <coughs> well, we got Sultan Sanctuary. And that game was awesome. I LP'd it in full. You should definitely go watch my LP of it. Um, barring a little chunk in the middle where I have a little problem with the audio, I decided to upload it anyway just because, you know, I wanted you to be able to see that I did the things. Proof of, of, um, you know, gameplay is semi important in, uh, Oh, by the way, I, I was down here already in this save file. I got an item from up there. I think it was uh, this thing. Oh, you're a NPC, huh? Ooh, 
Well. That'll uh, change things. <laughs> Whoops. That's on me. I I haven't seen an NPC for a while, and normally they have a cool thing going for them. Does that count? Wow. I guess that's the passage back up for later. From later. Oh. Cool. Interesting that this actually does have like horse mechanics. Cool, certainly. Yeah, that does give me soul. Pick up crab. Oh, I have a buff. 11 damage every second. If you're missing Phoenix Plumes, because you die and drop them, right? Guy and Blood. What could that be? Poison if consumed. 25 soil energy when consumed. Sandman's job to harvest the Sumbering Giants for parts. That's ominous. Okay, so this is the writer's passage. Possibly a play on the phrase rite of passage. Hmm. Nothing like seeing a dead thing of the thing that you have. Oh, and he won't go past it. Oh, you're the Owl King. Luckily, I read your book. You magnificent bastard. Yeah, this one came out closer to the release of Dark Souls 3, I think, because I remember seeing a lot of, like, comparisons to Slashy Souls, that phone game that came out to hype up Dark Souls 3. Nice. Immortal defeated, a king only in name. Get equipped with. <laughs> oh, man. Come on. That's too cool. That's awesome. <laughs> All right. 20% uh, damage buff. Perfect block. Ability restore stamina. Phoenix Plume gives soul energy. This one gives me essence from enemies. If I am mortal. What? Blood of the Phoenix. Restores stamina and removes minor status ailments. Interesting. That's cool. So if you're almost topped off, but you're being poisoned, you can... Yeah. And a fourth ability slot. Vengeance. Taking damage makes abilities cost 25 soul energy less. Unyielding strike. Killing blow. Sacrifice 17 health for soul energy. Exploding axe. Huh. I might, um... I might just pocket that. You, uh, grazing at the Owl King's corpse? Because I respect that, if you are. Okay. 
Okay. A lot of big items up there. Red appears to be more unique items like a special drop or something. Whoops. Silly me. Cleaving axe. Huh. Interesting. Oh, and that's on a cooldown as well. Very Castlevania-esque, obviously. Yeah, this game being a Souls-like and having other stuff going on makes it also like a Castlevania. I think I will just put this in the Souls-like playlist, though. Oh, the game's over, guys. That was pretty good. I don't know if it's worth the 15 bucks I paid for it, but... Actually, how much is this? If you yourself would like to own Death's Gambit, uh, and I would recommend it. It's actually really fun. Uh, it's 20 bucks. But you can presumably get it um, cheaper uh, on a Steam sale, which I would recommend. Just because Steam sales are usually pretty all right. So it looks like we're only getting one per uh it goes up by ten. I thought it might take another sunrise for you to arrive. Who said that? Up here in your world, the crows are my eyes. Mm. Past the city of Aldwin lies Care Shoreline. Within its walls rests Syrodin's source of immortality. You must toll the two bells of ascension. Then Find Come on, guys. Commune with the dead. Literally ring the two bells and then you get a something vessel. In Dark Souls 1, which I have not LP'd, but I streamed. You can watch it. It was a lot of fun. In Dark Souls 1, you ring the two bells of awakening and then fill the Lord vessel. And then in here, we ring the two bells of uh, ascension and fill the soul vessel. Wait, really? No. Just smash the source with a rock. Oh. Oh, your head even will do. Was that a joke? Did I just get... <laughs> Did he just trick me? All this for you to ferry them once more. Funny guy. <laughs> so, yeah, do we not actually have to do that at all? Because that's kind of funny. Go death. It's your birthday. From your herd, Says Bast. Mm-hmm. I am Bast, emissary of Vildredor. Not that it makes any difference here. You can tell it's Dark Souls because everyone he chuckles at everything. Oh. You have a lot more outgoing damage than I thought. Yes, sir. Oh. Sanctuary is in short supply. I imagine there are many who seek a moment's respite. <laughs> Indeed. I have a proposition for you. Guide more of these lost souls to a little sanctuary. <laughs> and I'll prepare a worthy reward upon your return. Learn ability. Assassinate. Dueling daggers. Gouge. Daggers. Blink. Daggers. Interesting. Sigur. 
You are not of the covenant. No, but most of them try died trying to get to here. Yeah. Return to Vardex. There are already too many dead for me to bury. Great sword, rupture, smoldering guillotine, heroic lunge. This is a long sword one. Tome. Well, I actually do have a long sword, do I not? Yeah, Vados Longsword. It's a longsword. So that might be something worth getting. Oh, you stirred the bird something fierce. Jacko of Basilius. Basilius? The catalyst we need around here. Those gathered have grown complacent. But what's there to do? It's staring down death. Best we stick together in these Trojan times. It's my phone in my pocket. Name's Pardon me. Jacko of Basilis. Basilis. Poultry wares, if I may be of use to you. Despite these lands, to the east lies the bulwark, gatekeeper to the city of mm. Edwin. If you're feeling exceptionally lucky. Luckily, I can do over. Dragonberry, Crowfeather, Crystal Bomb, Sunstone. There's that bow that I missed earlier. Longsword, Thief Blades, the Axe, the Great Hammer, Tome. So these are all the items that I missed in the first area. I got all of them except the bow. Tome on Forgotten Gaian and Tome on Kusith. Seed of Knowledge. This gives me a talent point. Armor scraps. Scavenged remains of armor, weathered and crusted in dirt and blood. Skilled artisan would forge them into a new set of gear. When used, turns into 75 essence. Interesting. Dark Souls. Sorry. Ooh, loud and clear. What is... Is this magic? What are you? I'm you, the shadow of your ego. You can hide your ugliness from the world, but not from yourself. The hell do you know about me? I know why you went on this futile expedition. Looking for your mom? No, she's a scapegoat for your self-loathing. Think making a name for yourself out here in the wasteland will give you the validation you need? Pathetic. You've been through here before, and just like before, I'm gonna kill you. Heroic Lunge. And that's a longsword ability? Heroic Lunge. Requires longsword, yep. Well, that's interesting. Let's uh, do that, huh? Because now that we've got some Mondo abilities. Cool, thank you. Plus two Vados. What? Okay, well, we can come back down here later. So, a plus two Vados Longsword. Um, we might literally want to... Put that there. And then... Have that be my new normal? Just because it's plus two. I mean... 
Yeah, look at that thing go. Yep, and I can still use my abilities. Phoenix Rider. Oh, you're a boss. One Immortal Tome. The Phoenix is a false... Was once a creature of legend lost between storybook pages. Its avatar is a false god, a deception veiled by fire. Searing Wound. All Phoenix attacks apply this effect on you. Healing effect in this is reduced. Okay, so when I refight that guy in the harder mode, that's what he'll do. Okay, so that area is now done. <laughs> Not one for salmon, these blackwater wolves. Give me a moment to recover. I'm not just an old hermit, huh? Find me back at Sanctuary, and I'll show you how to enchant your items as takes. Ooh, cool. Uh, equip stronger healing feathers when you find them. Oh, so these have the same amount of heal, just that this one's faster. Okay. Oh, I did get the bow. Never mind. But that's actually not the bow I've been seeing. Soul plume. I kind of want to grab these things. Is Sanctuary a generic name? Discuss. Alright, there's too much. Hold on. Let's go back downstairs. Because it looks like this is just a short little arena that I'm going to... Nope, it's the Rider's Passage. Another Gilded Helm, and the Bulwark. That's the boss that they mentioned. Uh, a creature of habit molded by obedience, planted by the Ascended. His roots run deep, immovable and everlasting. He's like a treeman. Guy in blood. Huh? A carrot. So many... Interesting items. A unique carrot worthy of being a prize of vegetable and Vados first golden luster. Looking at it makes you salivate. Perhaps someone or something would treasure a find. Oh, I have orbs as well. I have this purple orb now. Um, I've been going for 20 minutes. I'm going to cut it here. Uh, I hope you enjoyed. I certainly did. I'll see you guys next time. I've been Alfred. Bye.